and welcome to hell. I'm your host, Lindsay. Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. I did not vlog yesterday because I went to a Viceland party on Saturday night and got drunk. Um, so I didn't go to Comic Con yesterday, but I do have a bunch of photos from, I didn't bring my camera to Vi the Viceland party, but I have a bunch of photos from yesterday of that. So I think I will like go through them right here. Show you for a second of the Viceland party there. Okay, and that's it. And today's Monday and uh, surprise, surprise. I don't think I told you this, but I quit my job and Thursday or Friday is my last day of my job. And then we'll see what happens. So fun. Uh, by the way, since all of you have left, now the weather is back to normal and it's actually raining in San Diego. It's no longer 8,000 degrees. So I'm gonna blame everyone at Comic-Con for making it really hot in San Diego. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. Once again, getting coffee with Karina. Hi, Karina. Whoa. And um, like I said yesterday, this is my last week of working here. <clears throat> I had this odd feeling that they were gonna let me go early, which I don't know if that means that they're gonna pay me for my two weeks or not, but I think it might happen tomorrow. Also have been thinking about maybe moving back to LA. So that could happen, I don't know been thinking about a lot of things. Look up Saturn's return. That's what I'm going through. Hello everyone and welcome to the second to last day of my regular day job. San Diego. Um, I don't know, you probably noticed at the beginning of this video that I've changed the brand of my channel as well as all other social media accounts to Undefined Lins. Lins is spelt L-I-N-D-S. That is because I feel like I'm doing a lot more than vlogging now uh, with the interviews and such. I wanted to make it a little bit more broad. So that's that. Everyone, um, since it's my second to last day working over here, I thought I'd go hang out in Old Town. And my reasoning behind that was actually to go pokey hunting because I'm a nerd and that's what I wanted to do. By the way, if you live in San Diego, there are a shit ton of Pokemon and hot spots in Old Town, so go and do that. Seriously, just do it. Um, I don't know, this is Old Town. Let's see if I can. It's basically, if you've never been to, if you've never been to San Diego before, it's a bunch of Hispanic shops and, uh, or I guess Mexican shops because it, it was part of Mexico originally, and trinkets and all of that jazz, but it's all stuff that you can purchase in Mexico for much cheaper. So if you're planning on coming to San Diego to hang out or whatever, uh, and you want to buy some Mexican trinkets, I would recommend going to TJ, buying stuff there instead of coming here. But it's also fun to come here and have some margaritas and get some Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Pokemon Go was invented by Michelle Obama to prevent childhood obesity. Just saying. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Undefined Lindsay. I don't know why I'm saying this because it's the middle of the week, um, but today is Thursday, which means it's my last day at work. What? Yes. Uh, yesterday, there's a bus going by, hold on. Um, yesterday I booked some, I booked an Airbnb in LA from 
I'm not going to tell you the dates because that would be weird. So <laughs> I booked an Airbnb in LA. I'm going there, check it out, see how I feel about it again, visit some friends. That'll be fun. Uh, and right now I'm getting coffee with my friend Gabs because she's going to buy coffee and then steal my my coffee cart card that has one stamp one stamp left for a free coffee. Hi Gabs. Hi, we're gonna miss you, Lindsay. That's it, that's all I gotta say. This is, will be uh, my last vlog, unless I go boogie hunting, which I might do today. <laughs> From this area, bye. Hey Mara. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, but probably mostly more ladies than gentlemen, says YouTube. Uh, today is Friday. It's gonna start getting hard to remember what day it is because la last day, last day, yesterday was my last day of work. Um, so now I have to find a new job. So I'm going to LA in two weeks for about five days. See if I want to get back into that scene. And uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Um, basically, right now I'm taking a walk and playing Pokemon Go because why not? It's super fun. And I ended up at my one of my favorite places over by where I live, which is the Golden Hill Park. I think that's what it's called. Something to that extent. But it's the park in Golden Hill. And it has this like really nice view of downtown. I used to come over here and go running. You might see people behind me running. Um, unfortunately, I can't go running right now due to some medical conditions. But if I were to, I used to run laps around this area. It's pretty. It's a little park. It's nicely well kept and pretty safe. Um, but you got this really cool view, so I want to show you that. So here's the view of downtown that you can get from just right off the little road, and it's kind of nice. Um, right now it's a little bit foggy and the sun is setting, so it's difficult. It's difficult to see everything. Tomorrow I'm going paintballing with my friend, and that's going to be super fun, so I'll make sure to vlog part of that. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Do you guys play Pokemon Go? Let me know if you do. Put it in the comments. And I finally just figured out how to like really play it, so I'm into it now. I think I look really good in this shot, so... <laughs> That's it. Bye! Can someone tell me why this guy has like a pile of leashes all leashed together and they're tied to himself? He's walking through the park. And there he is, the leashes, attached himself. Why is this happening? What is this world that we live in? Totally not joking about this. This is what's happening. Not weird at all. Not weird. Hello and welcome to hell. I'm your host, Lindsay. We are currently stuck in a ridiculous amount of traffic trying to go to paintball. Today is Saturday. I don't know why I always tell you what day it is because I put it like right there. Anyways, maybe it's just for me. Now we're questioning our decision on playing paintball and whether or not we should just go to the casino and play poker instead because I'm this, traffic, the this traffic is ridiculous. And you know how I love playing poker, but my viewers hate me playing poker because they don't watch those videos, apparently. So... What, you playing poker? Yes. Why don't you watch those videos, you guys? I mean, more women should play poker. And my audience is like 70% women. So you should watch those videos and learn how to play poker and what it's like to play poker and then go play poker. Hello everyone, I am dressed in my paintball gear and we have decided that we are not going to go play paintball because it's going to be 90 degrees. Thank you for making that slap noise. Now I'm going to have to lower it in post. So I'm going to go play poker in, in, in sweatpants, um, 
a random shirt. Continue on Ramona Street. Thank you, Google Maps. Um, and a random shirt that I cannot remember for the life of me what I put in the bag. Uh, and that's it. Because I don't have any other clothes, including a sweatshirt. And it always gets cold in the poker room. I'm scared. I drive like I'm from LA because that's where I learned how to drive. But I also I heart rate I'm, I'm off really like... I have like really good reactions to things. Like I slow I did like a pretty good slowdown there and then a turn. And we're gonna do it again right here, so get ready for it. We're entering it a little slower though than this one. Yeah, well you know. Try to take this one under two G's. I feel bad for you because you're hungover. This is why we're not playing Three poker. Quarters of a mile. It's not why. Right you itched it up in your head that you wanted to go play poker. I just led you down the path. Of sin. Your game so, on. here we are. I'm looking at myself and not making plans, which is why you're not supposed to. Look at Nick. He's like, ready I'm ready. Go. I'm ready. He doesn't play poker. He plays slot machines, slot machines and somehow wins a shit ton of money. I don't get it. But I'm here to play poker. Please don't let me lose my money because I don't have a job. I called in 90 minutes early or I, I called in to play poker and then we ate lunch and then I checked in five minutes before my 90 minute allotted time was up and there were still four people in front of me waiting to play at one table. So now there's like three people in front of me. I'm still not playing poker and it's been like two hours. Lost about 40 bucks playing poker for like four hours. So that's not terrible. $10 an hour negative. There was some crazy guy that showed up with like $700 or $800 on a like $300 max buy-in table that started over way over betting. So that's when I left. And now we're getting drinks. So that should be fun. I think I'm gonna drink some tequila. And you know what that means. Lindsay gets crazy on tequila. Some shit might go down tonight. <laughs> Husband, you are the things that you don't do, not the things that you do. I just got hit on by a street dude at a lesbian bar. Just wanted to put that out there. That happened. It was kind of a weird night. I don't know how much of it I'm going to put in my vlog. Um, but I do have a fucking brilliant idea for a video, so I'm gonna shoot that today. But right now, I'm walking as fast as I can because I'm late, of course, to my massage appointment. And, uh, yeah. This is what my hair does after a massage. It's beautiful. It's like, what the hell? What the hell, bangs? If you like that video, please remember to hit the like button and if you haven't seen my videos before and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or any suggestions and I'd be happy to oblige. So I will talk to you all next time. Bye. A study was done a long time ago that asked elderly, sickly people that knew that they were gonna die in the near future what was their biggest regret in life? And the majority of them stated that their biggest regret was something that they didn't do, not something that they actually did.